Just joining us, thank you for choosing Channel 3 this Monday morning. I'm John McMahon. And I'm Melissa Borden. It is Eclipse Day, and here on the Path of Totality, thousands of visitors are funneling in to get a good look. Burlington is preparing for 50,000 extra visitors, but time will tell just how many more or less show up for Earth's show. Joining us now is Melissa Kuhn. Good morning, Alyssa and John. Right now I'm here at the Waterfront Center and truly it's actually starting to get a little bit busy. There's already some tents and the stage set up for people to really view the eclipse. There's also a lot of porta potties, about 12 just drove in from I'm not sure where and they are all set up ready for folks to use. They're expecting a lot of people. Now here in Burlington, they're preparing for the largest number of people to come to the city in history. Now for context, 4th of July sees 23,000 extra people. The city is getting prepared for around 50. But with that many people projected to come to town, there will be road closures galore to make the big day run smoothly. Burlington is collaborating with state agencies to prepare for an unprecedented number of cars on the interstate, and event spaces will be packed too. Burlington City Art says there will be dedicated emergency sites at all of the viewing areas. He says services like the fire department and police will have all hands on deck staffing to respond if necessary. Everybody who is able is on duty during this day um, and working on the ground. And um, for instance, all fire engines that usually have two people will have three people um, so that they can um, isolate uh, perhaps and take care of an emergency um, without having to bring in additional resources. Same with police. We'll have more people stationed in different places of the city, just assuming that we can't get around as easily. From 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., the Burlington Beltline will be closed. That's because it's turning into a parking lot for $30 for the day to park cars, with 16 shuttle buses bringing people to and from viewing events. Now, as for non-shuttle parking, Burlington City Arts says you can park in city garages for $30 a day, you could park at Perkins Pier, you could park on Pine Street where the farmer's market is, or you could find street parking. And after the eclipse finishes, Burlington is encouraging people to not leave the city right away. There will be an event in City Hall Park to encourage people to stay and shop downtown as the sun sets. Now, hope everyone's getting ready for the eclipse. I know we are have my Channel 3 eclipse glasses. And of course, we have our eclipse merch ready to go to view the once in a lifetime event. So stay with us here on Channel 3 for all things eclipse all throughout the day. We're live in Burlington. Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.